Ladies and gentlemen of the Natural Hair Care Jury, hi, I am Healy Means. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a Using My Stash Jury Poll video. Now that my community tab is open on my channel, y'all, I am so excited. One of the things that I've been doing is been posting jury polls. This video is actually the result of my first jury poll video where I asked if you were on a deserted island, what OG product brand and line would you use? And the winner of that poll are the products that I'm going to use in this video. I also posted premieres and they just so happen to have been coming out on thursdays now so my thursday video have been premiere videos i want to get the word out so you can check and look and see for videos i'm trying to see the best time to premiere those videos for maximum participation so if you have any recommendations please let me know the winning brand of the jury poll was the as i am classic line and then i had to go through my stash and see oh my goodness <laughs> What products do I have left from the Classic line that's already open in my stash? I have two products in the As I Am Classic line, but first let me show you what I use to shampoo and condition my hair. For the cleanser, I use the Design Essentials Natural Coconut and Manoi Coconut Milk Nourishing Shampoo with Sunflower and Coconut Oil. That's this product here. I really like this shampoo. A little bit goes a long way. Thoroughly cleanses down to the scalp does not feel stripped it does feel moisturizing i really like this shampoo and it's something i would repurchase of course if you want to see my detailed initial thoughts check out the video that i have up above my head somewhere to condition my hair i thought i had the matching design essentials conditioner but when i looked at the bottle i found that it was a leave-in so <laughs> i pulled something that was already in my shower while this product is not actually a conditioner, that's how I used it. This is the Canacomb Full Restore Hair Moisturizing Cream. And here is the container. It is empty, so I finally have something to put in my empties box for my video. I normally pair this with the silicone mix. I think the bamboo silicone mix is my favorite, but this was the only product in my shower, so I used it. This is a good product I would repurchase, but guess what? I already have another one. Since I already pulled out the Design Essentials Leave-In, I used that. And this is the Design Essentials Coconut and Manoi Curl Enhancing Dual Hydration Milk with Sunflower and Marula Oil. Here is the bottle, y'all, and I'm like at the end. I barely have any left. If you can see that, like I'm down to probably one or two more uses. I really like this leave-in. A little bit goes a long way. It says curl enhancing dual hydration milk. I feel that. It's like a creamy milk. It is hydrating. It is moisturizing. I would definitely buy this product again. And to get to the actual As I Am Classic line products, the first thing that I used was the Coco Shea Spray. It's a moisturizer with coconut oil, African shea butter, and vegetable glycerin. Here is the product here. This is a um, four ounce bottle. It's pretty watery and liquidy y'all know i do not like to waste product but let's just go ahead and, and do the little spray test you can see it's a misty spray but it does have like a milky loose consistency i sprayed that throughout my hair and at first y'all i was scared i was like please let this go well and pair well <laughs> with the coconut manoa hair milk it did i didn't have any problems then for the styler, I use the As I Am Twist Defining Cream. This is for shiny, smooth twists and twist outs. It is an eight ounce jar. It has sunflower oil, castor oil, amla, sugar beet root, and phytosterols. This is what the product looks like. I have probably one or two uses. Surprisingly, a little bit of this product does go a long way. I know I've used this probably at least five times and I'm thinking I got a good two uses left of this. I went pretty heavy handed with this product on top of the Coco Shea spray and the um, the Design Essentials hair milk. And again, I was like, man, please let all these products mix together. I don't want any 
snow and avalanches and all that kind of stuff. The mixed testing, okay, so I applied the twist defining cream over the Coco Shea spray and the hair milk. Since the style is a twist defining cream, I went ahead and did twist. So I twisted my hair all around. Let me just let you see what this looks like. My hair is dry. Yesterday, I did the first three steps of my wash day, which is the cleansing, the conditioning, and the moisturizing. And then today, I applied the styler. I used these two perm rods. And y'all, is it, um, I, do y'all have this where the perm rod break? Y'all see that? The little cap, like, break off of it. So they don't pop and break while I'm using them. But after I come from under my hair bonnet, I always have, like, some loose. So... I used the orange in the back and the purple mostly in the front. I got under my body dry for probably about two hours, y'all. I took the perm rods out, y'all. This is the same day, and we're going to do the takedown right now. Before I start untwisting my hair, y'all, we're going to use our <laughs> newfound star of all of the shows. And it's this Honey's Handmade Sugar Honey Iced Tea Hair Silk Serum. Y'all, I'm getting... <laughs> I'm getting a little bit further to the bottom. I actually spilled a little bit on the floor right before this video on my carpet. So y'all know I had to scrub that up right quick. So let me just put a little bit. I just want to put a little bit in my hands. And I am going to go over all of the twist. Oh y'all, that's a little bit too much. But I can't put it back in the bottle. So let me just try to lightly go over. See if I can get some on my scalp. All right. Okay. Uh, and let me start on twisting. Let's catch one in the back. I didn't bring any clips to clip my hair up. So let's just try to do this. What I'm looking for is <laughs> minimal frizz, y'all. I do actually feel a little bit of a hold. It's not a crunch, but I feel a little bit of the a hold. And y'all, just undoing these the same day that I take the um that I take the perm rods out, I, I could feel a difference like already. And all I did was untwist one twist, and I could tell the difference taking my hair down the same day that I take the perm rods or flexi rods or whatever is gonna make a difference. It's going to make a difference in these curls, but I have to hope <laughs> that I catch all of the twists and undo them. I don't like to start from the bottom. Oh, y'all, so at the bottom, I ended up wrapping like plain hair around the bottom. So maybe like the bottom fourth. I didn't twist all the way down to the end because the end of my hair is just too thin and trying to twist that hair all the way down to the bottom it just results in a lot of tangles and more frizz so i didn't twist all the way down to the bottom let's see here and i thought i was doing like thicker twists but unless i do something where i have like five twists in my hair y'all they, they just seem to come out thin all right, let me take my time because I'm about to have to be struggling with a knot or something. Hold on. Let me slow down. All right. Y'all, let me do the rest of these. And then I'm going to come back. All right, here is my hair fully untwisted, I, I hope. I hope I didn't miss any. Wait, did I miss one? Is this one right here, y'all? I don't know. All right, this is what we looking like. I really like how these twists feel. I like how they look, just kind of looking at them. When I go back after I edit these videos, I always can see a lot more detail in the playback than when I'm actually doing the recording. I hope I got all of these twists undone. If I didn't, I'll catch them during the separation. So now just let me do a little bit separating. 
and then we'll be back for the final look. Ladies and gentlemen, here are my final results. And this is using the As I Am Classic line, the Coco Shea Spray with the Twist Defining Cream. I also added a little bit of the Design Essentials Coconut and Manoi Hair Milk. I really like these. Let me get in a little bit closer for y'all. I really like these results. My hair feels very moisturized. I do think I went in a little bit heavy handed with the sugar honey iced tea oil but it feels like it's gonna make it like make the style last longer for some reason it's definitely shiny i showed the twist before i oh y'all see and this is why i don't know if it's coming through but that's why i do not one of the main reasons why i do not like that ampro brown gel because it will brown up everything, brown up your gray hairs, brown up your forehead, take your makeup off. It'll do it all. This time I used the perm rods at the ends and everything seemed to be looking well, y'all, until I do the takedown. I really need some practice with takedown or, yeah, I need some practice with takedown because sometimes I try to take down from the bottom and go up. Sometimes I start in the middle. Sometimes I do start at the top, y'all. I just, I think it's because my hair is so thin. By the time you get to the bottom fourth of it, that if I twist it, if I, un, if I take it down any way except from the very bottom up to the top, I'm going to end up with a little bit of frizz. Now, to me, this is not too bad because it makes the bottom and the ends of my hair look a little bit fuller. This part right here, y'all, I messed up. Wasn't it the same thing I messed up with last time? I really like these results. Of course, the top of my hair, <laughs> if you look at the top of the curl, like just look at this part right here. This always look better than when I get to the very bottom. But these are the results. This is what my hair looks like. Let me know does anybody still have any of the as i am classic line the brown label products if you have them what are you using what's the ones you like now see look i know i didn't miss a twist but i didn't separate right here but if you still have these products if you like them let me know again this uh um this is the desert island og products Thanks to everybody who participated in that poll. The second poll that I have up, I think I was asking for a wash day combo, but I have a tie, y'all. Right now, as of the last time I checked it, which was a few minutes before I started recording this video, I have a three-way tie. And I actually have zero votes for the last one. I wonder if it's because one of the brands that's listed, but <laughs> I ain't gonna start no mess. I have a tie though, so I need somebody to go to the poll. I need a tiebreaker. I'm going to check again tomorrow, and then whatever brand has the most votes, then that's what I'm going to use in my next um, using my stash jury poll watch day. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for this video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, click that notifications bell, and share this video, share my playlist, and share my channel with everyone you know. Until next time, be safe, be well, and be blessed. Y'all, I don't know when I started doing like the little praying hands thing because maybe I was emphasizing to be blessed. Like I want you to really be blessed. I want you to know that I'm showing you that I want you to be blessed. Be blessed.